Parallax Builder allows you to create different parallax effects in your scene. All variants of Parallax Builder don't require to import separate projects and make long setup. Just choose layers on timeline and make single click. The most simple parallax module is Scale Parallax. It places layers with some definite offset in 3D space on Z-axis, then, scale down or scale up layer according to position of camera. This is most simple parallax effect and it doesn't have control panel. You can animate camera by own keyframes if you need. For this, choose camera layer and click button P on keyboard. Then, change position of camera as you want. You can also change position of your layers, add other animations to each layer separately. You can also unlock auto scale camera layer and animate second camera to get more strength to parallax effect. Object offset parallax effect can look similar to scale parallax, but it works in totally different way. It doesn't scale layers, but it moves them in 3D space with constant speed. First of all, add some offset parameter which will be added for each layer. As you see, we have wrong order for layers. It's because position of each layer depends on position of layer in scene. More far away from null layer, more close to camera layer will be. Object Offset Parallax Effect has also control panel for camera movement and other useful options. For example, you can add some shadow to each layer. Camera controller will add two keyframes. One will be in start point of your layers and second will be in end point. You can add position offset for Z-axis, rotation and other parameters to add constant movement of camera from first to second point. Offset Parallax has also very important expression which makes layer invisible when it moves too close to camera. You can control distance from camera where layer starts to become invisible in control panel. Also, you can choose focus layer and add more aperture to make cool depth of field blur effect. You can add other objects to parallax scene, but make sure that you place them above guide layer with control panel, so, they will not affect offset of other layers. Best and easy results you can get with other motion skill modules. For example, with slide Z-axis controller from Transition Composer. Next parallax effect is my favorite it, because it can give you very creative effect on some shots. Best results will be on layers with big contrast area on center. This parallax effect will extract channels from layer based on their contrast, then, each layer will get parallax offset effect which we described in previous step. Now, we will show more advanced ways to use parallax effects. For example, you have two simple static images. We will add some movement with slide transition to first image. We will reduce strength, so, image will be fully visible for whole duration of movement. Now, we will apply extract parallax to second image which is placed above first image. As you see, when extracted layers take close to camera, they will have less opacity and this will create interesting mixing of several layers. But we will go further. Precompose first image, then, add also extract parallax effect. As you see, our car is also extracted, but we can fix it because motion skill is very flexible plugin. Choose parallax image layer on timeline and open it. Then, add mask to layer and set it as extract mask type. 
Now, this part of image will be not affected. You can simply enable original layer and you will get great results. Combine both images and you will have incredible look and this is just with simple static images. Of course, video shots are also compatible with all parallax effects. Next parallax effect is shape parallax. It also extract image and creates several copied of image, but now, it will use static shape. You must add some offset for camera position to see effect. Two shapes will be created automatically, circle shape is enabled by default, but you can enable and disable each shape in parallax mask layer or you can create own shape. Click F button on shape layer and you will have access to mask feather. Reduce it if you want to remove blur effect on edges for each layer in parallax scene. You can also choose parallax image layer and add mask to image. In this case only part of image will be affected. We will add fast mask, just to show you logic of this action, but if you add very detailed mask and enable original layer, you will have very interesting 3D effect on your image or video shots. Also, as you see, all our parallax effects are working in real time and in full resolution view. Multiple mask parallax effect is similar to object offset effect, but it uses masks on single layer and creates separate objects for each mask. First of all, choose layer, duplicate it and pre-compose. Then, start to add masks. After finishing, apply effect and adjust offset for layers, camera offset, rotation and other parameters to get desired look.